What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Les Alex here with Jake in the booth. Hey, what's up? How's it going, everybody? Thank you all so much for joining us. We have round four of our modern FNM. You see these, both of these players are actually two and one. Don't have the uh, finals match on tonight, so. But we are going to enjoy some Twiddlestorm versus Teamer Escape Shift. Two wild decks. I mean, this Absolutely. is like. Absolutely. This is just, this is going to be uh, hit the ground running. Neither of these decks care what they're yeah, doing. Both absolutely of them. Absolutely not. Both of them are just like, all right, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. You're going to do what you're going to do. And that's it. Yeah. Made the first one to. Uh, I will say, I think I think Hobbs' deck is a bit faster yeah. than Paul's. Um, the new Twiddlestorm stuff is really fast and really consistent. Yep. So this is a... I, I lost to this last round against Hobbs. Um, so the idea is you get a Lotus Field out, and you use cards that tap and untap it a bunch of times. Dreams Grip, Twiddle, things like that. Uh, I think it plays Twiddle. It plays the... It plays one Twiddle. Does it still? Yep. Um, it plays the Vizier. Yep, Vizier, and then it's also Hidden String because you can tap and untap the One Ring, which is really yes. nice. And I've seen Hobbs with this deck draw like eight cards in one turn. Oh, it's more. So yeah, sometimes it gets. Yeah. If you, it, it all kind of depends where the ring starts, but it's pretty fast. It's pretty consistent, and it does. I mean, it does exactly what you want to do almost all the time. Paul just, you know, I mean. He hasn't played anything that's going to stop this so far. I, can Im I can't imagine if he's playing Teamer, he's got to be playing some amount of counter spells. But I don't. I actually have not seen Paul play this. Normally, he's just on Boros Energy. Yeah, this is actually Cruz's deck. Oh, this is it. Yeah, you can tell by the gaudy gold <laughs> sleeves, the gold sleeves, and the weird off foils. Yeah, and he's got bacon neck on the sleeves. Because <laughs> they're like from 2014. Grody. <laughs> so what's so Hobbs drew a uh, what's the one mana blue consigned to memory? So consi yeah, consigned to memory is super important in this deck because you counter the triggered ability of Lotus Field to sacrifice two lands. Mm -hmm. So just like the Pioneer blue white decks. Play the two mana Strict Proctor Trick bind, to yeah. Strict uh, Proctor. counter their own Lotus Field. This just gets to play a strictly better card. So Paul, so Hobbs hasn't like done anything crazy. I think he's just setting up because Paul is like well, just getting. He needs to find a Lotus Field. That's that's the yeah. that's the uh, weak point of this deck. If you if you can find the you know some untappers and you have your Lotus Field, you're golden. Which uh, this deck actually got. Another MH3 card that made this deck way better is Deserted Temple. Oh, yeah. That which, if that's a, it's you, you can tap it to untap another land. Yeah. Real good. Yeah. All right, well, here's a one ring. So let's start the charade. Trigger, pass the turn. So Paul can't kill Hobbs this turn, theoretically. Well, he needs, what, six mountains, right? Uh, I think it's five, but it doesn't matter because he has dry it out, so all lands are mountains. I think it's six. I think Hobbs and Paul were just talking about this. <laughs> but regardless, you are correct. Dry out of Elysian Grove, going to make all of Paul's everything. It's five. Well, at least five others, so you need six lands. Yeah. Paul Here's also a wandering of his own. Uh, except... Hobbs' deck is a Thoracle deck, so it can win. It doesn't yeah. care about Paul having protection. Paul can be protected from everything. Yeah. Hobbs is just going to keep going, but oh, that, oh, there's a Lotus oh, Field. Oh. And we have the Consign, too. So this is going to be a pretty hot, hot boy summer so turn for Hobbs. Getting the, getting this, it's not Storm, but you need to keep track of the mana you have. Yeah. So we're going to play the Lance. He's just going to sacrifice him because there's no point in using the Consign for anything right now. Oh, yeah. He's going to use the two blue on tap. These two things. One ring and the lotus. Now I have three more mana and drew three more cards. So in one turn, Hobbs drawn for turn, oh, wow. two cards off the ring, and three. So we are at six cards. He found another untapper, too. Dream's Grip. I mean, the deck plays like 12 of them. Dream's Grip going to untap the one ring and then draw four. So he's drawn seven extra cards this turn. Pretty good. One ring is fair and balanced. 
Especially when you get to use it multiple times in one turn. Holy moly. Uh, yep, exactly. And then we're going to... He's still going, yeah. Yeah. I can't quite... He has, like, bad dice for this, but... I think he's at three or something like that, so we're going to tap. It goes down to one. He's going to tap it again. There's red. There's That's, red mana. So the red... is, uh, not good if you're sitting in Pulsey. The red is for Underworld Breach and Wish, because you play almost all of your good, like, Wish targets in the board. Yeah. He wants to find a, uh, Tome Scour so he can... Yep. Tome Scour is the main engine of this deck because it's one mana target player mills five, and with Underworld Breach out, you're netting two cards yeah. every time you mill yourself. Yeah, so he's going off here, and Paul can't do much except for just watch. And no, I, if Paul has counter magic, he's got to wait for the Underworld Breach. Yeah. Or the Wish. Or the Wish, yeah. Here's a Wish. I don't remember seeing if Hobbs had Underworld Breach or not, but I don't think it did. resolves... Might have one. Yeah, there's one there's in the sideboard. Okay. So now... So now he can do it. Now and he can wish again for the Tome Scour. Yeah. So he's in good shape here. Now I think it's not a... Um, I think it's not a Terministic now. Like, I think he's just one. Yeah. Once once the uh, Tome Scour resolves, yeah. the game's When over. I played against him, I was just like, did I lose? And he's like, <laughs> yep. And I'm like, Sh okay. Like, I'm like... I trust so, Hobbs enough that I he wouldn't scumbag. Hidden, like that. yeah, right. Hidden Strain's gonna untap both of his lands, or untap the land and maybe a ring, or no, I untap the. Oh, he untap both the, of them. Okay. He's at the point where he doesn't really need cards. He just needs mana because yep. the one the choke point once you start going is your mana. But you know, once you're doing things like this, it, it's just academic. He's going to go wish again, wish and he's going to go get Tome Scour. <laughs> Underworld Breach is a messed up This is sweet. Card. I love this deck so much. It's so it's like the best Storm deck in the format. I, I think it's way, be I think it's way well, better than... Uh, yeah, Ruby Storm just has a lot of haters. Well, I think Ruby Storm's easy to hate on. This yeah. deck, like, one of the best cards this deck got was the... It's from Bloomborough. It's... It's Our, one mana bounce... A, Bounce a creature into the flood maw, I think it yeah, is. Into the flood maw, yep. yeah. And yep. Paul's, yeah, gonna, Paul's scoop gonna scoop it up, yeah. Yeah, into the flood maw, which can either bounce a fish or a non land, or bounce a creature or bounce anything, you give them a fish, which is wild because if you just bounce the thing and you're gonna win the turn, who cares if you're bouncing it? Yeah. All right, hey, look, hey. we're both on camera. This new, I we wanted to, uh, we our, fit. I really wanted to get in the booth. Not well, I knew about this. I want to see the new. Oh yeah, uh, the new uh, the new rigging system out there. If here, let if, me. If you haven't had a chance yet, you should pull, throw it up because uh, it is absolutely amazing. Yeah, we're gonna zoom in system. tight here, and we're gonna do some cinematic stuff. So these are our players at our feature match Whoa, table. Whoa! I didn't see this. Look at that. That is so cool. And we can show off a little bit of our gaming space. Look, people are playing Commander there. We had some 40K players there earlier. Unfortunately, there is a pole right there. So oh, no. You can't see the, the best part of the uh, shop, which is the singles. Yeah, so. Darn. But, yeah, that is uh, we got 22,000 square feet here at Impact Gaming Center. So we wanted a way to at least somewhat show it off. We might be, uh, like mounting a camera here so like right on the to show the rest so of the, show the opposite side and That's then we also might have what we're going to call the jeff cam where it's going to just show off the tcg area <laughs> like the singles area i like that that's pretty cool that's funny yeah. it's gonna be pretty good but yeah as these players sideboard i think hobbs is highly favored in this match I, I i don't even think it's i <laughs> I don't know what Paul's sideboard is, but I can't imagine he's bringing in that much that's going to stop Twiddlestorm. Counter magic? I mean, like, I I don't mean know. So, so one of the goofy plays is if you play Artifact Rock or Artifact Graveyard Base Removal, uh, before you go off, you can tap, because most of the twi almost all the Twiddle effects, they tap or untap, you can tap down their Artifact Rock that would exile the graveyard. So it's like, okay, pop it now, or you don't get to activate it. So like if unless the only way you have something that matters is if you're playing like relic progenitus, um, like soul guy lantern has to tap in order to exile the graveyard. So yeah. Yeah, that's just like a really, I didn't think about that line, but it's really goofy. 
the the best way to hate on this deck is like exile their graveyard in response to the underworld breach. Yeah. Or stop the breach from coming down, or play like players can only play one spell a turn cards. Um, like I did uh, Dranith Magistrate versus Hobbs, and while it's not like a hard lock, it definitely like limits yeah, it's his pretty options. Good. All right, so Hobbs is up a game here. Let's reset these life totals, although their life totals pretty much don't matter. They, that hurt. One, um. one, player, one player is either won the game or lost the game. Yeah. It, it doesn't... I don't think life totals are that important. If Hobbs is at 19 or 20, that's what matters. Exactly. Because then he can't get 18, and then <laughs> Paul actually has to, like, attack or play another mountain. Got to gotta see if Paul kept any counter magic in hand. Can't really see what he's got in hand very well. <laughs> so Death Rite Spellskite says, Jeff can. We mounted a GoPro to Jeff so you can always see what he sees. Yeah, that would be awesome. If we could get that on stream, just, that would uh, be so sick. He's just looking at singles all day. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> all right. Here we go. Untap and draw. I think Paul has a Besaju. He's going to play it. There's no point in holding on to the Besaju because the land has Hexproof. So you can't actually target it with Besaju, which is... I I hate Lotus Field. I think... I hate the card Lotus Field as a player. I think it's such an aggravating card to play against because it's a land with Hexproof that if, if you were just playing it and you sacrificed two lands and that was the only thing the card was doing, that'd be one thing. But no one, you, you you do not play that card fairly. It doesn't exist. Oh, of course. You're only playing that card unfairly. To be a degenerate. Exactly. There's no, there's no. Ooh, on my turn you three, I'm gonna play, play a two drop. Decks, though. I do. I mean, that's just me as a player. I'm not a combo. I'm not a combo player. Like I'm never going to. I, I, every Lotus Field I've ever opened, I've sold back to the shop because <laughs> I don't. I don't care. Speaking of, you can head on over to impactgamingcenter.gg, and I'm sure we have some Lotus Fields in stock. Paul's going to Planar Lens, I think it's called. Planar Nexus. Planar Nexus, I think is what it is. It's like Growth Spiral, but better. If you can imagine Growth Spiral being a better card, because Growth Spiral is gross. That card's insane. I call it Growth Spiral. Dang. <laughs> Dang. I'll, be, I'll be here all week. All righty, let's see. There's the Sculling Tarn. Man, one of the best cards in uh, War of the Spark Standard. We just had to push a little harder. <laughs> if you get a permanent off the top, off that card, you just put it in your hand, right? Like it doesn't have to be a land. I don't know, man. Something. I'm sure you're right. You know every card. Most of them, except for uh, Storm cards. <laughs> Expressive Iteration. I know that one. E-I-E-I-O. There's a Damping Sphere. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good way to stop Hobbs, except when, you know, he has into the Flood Maw and bounces it because yeah, I mean, that card can. <laughs> historically, <laughs> any, any deck that wants to play a permanent to stop Storm, unless you have multiples, usually Storm is pretty good at dispatching. Oh, well, and you just straight up counter it, Yeah, too. you just, oh my gosh, that card. So versatile. That card is so good. So we got a fetch, so he's going to drop to 18 here. But yeah, I think, uh, let's see what's in Hobbs' hand here after he draws. So he's got the Lotus Field, but he used his, there's the, de the Dessert Temple. Oh, wow, his hand is insane. Yeah, Hobbs' hand is, not, is nuts. I can't tell what's in Paul's hand, but he isn't exactly doing anything fast he's he also has like the same counter spell um so i but Inside i signed a memory yeah but i don't know i mean counters the ring but other than that like what's that card gonna counter per se well that is a oh i think it's a coiling oracle coiling oracle it is Gotta love that card. That card is so Yeah, fun. Consign can counter the Thoracle trigger. We saw that last round, actually. Oh, that's gross. Yeah. Unfortunately, in the... Well, fortunately or unfortunately, depending on who you're talking about, 
Oh, he's the, going. The uh, Thoracle Trigger got countered, and then Ben still won that game because he returned it back to the hand. He was yeah. playing a Breach deck as well. It was wild. All right, so we're going to untap here. We're going to float three. I think he's got five now. Three more blue. He's got a bunch of blue. Dream's Grip in hand. We're probably going to be playing so, a one ring at some point this turn. Untap. Or Dream's Grip, tap your land. Untap my land. Is Dream Grip? Oh, you can replicate it, right? Is it is it replicate on that card? Yeah, I don't know. Judge. Is it Dream Grip or Dream's, Dreams Grip? It is entwine. Oh. Okay. So you can uh, pay one to tap target permanent or untap target permanent or entwine to untap target permanent and untap target permanent. So Hobbs is doing that to just cut off all, I think, a blue mana or something. Yeah, for sure. He's going to twill here. Untap. Our end game here this turn, I believe, is going to be... Let's play this one ring. And we'll set up to try and win the game next turn. Trigger, I have protection, pass turn. Paul untaps. What is he hoping to find here? Like counterspell interaction? Like, Can he win the game? I mean, well, he, unless he could win an instant No, he speed, can't. He can't. He can't deal. Because he can't deal damage to Paul, or to Hobbs, rather. <laughs> The One Ring's so stupid. Somebody in one of our last videos was like, the One Ring's fine. And that was like their comment. I'm like, okay, dude. Um, well, I don't want to burst your bubble, but I don't think a card is fine when it makes up like 50 some odd percent of the format. It's fine. Like, and I get it. Like, the Ring would be cool in decks like Twiddlestorm. But the problem is every other deck gets to hyper abuse it too. Look at Bob's comments. It looks like a shiny flare of cultivation. I was like, maybe. <laughs> have you ever have you uh, looked at the flare of cultivation foil art, like the full art foil? It's, yeah, it's pretty really sick. good. All I think all the flares, yeah, full art foils look really good. So here's an AI. Another expressive iteration. <coughs> Remember when Ooh. that was like the contention the card? Co the card in modern. Like it needs to be banned in modern. <laughs> The band, it's still banned in Pioneer. I mean, it's... It was banned in Standard. It's banned, is it banned in Legacy still, too? I think it is. Yeah. Which is weird, right? I don't know about weird. I mean, it... Like, you're not... Very few decks, I think, in Legacy are going to play the One Ring. I, I would be surprised how many with how fast the format is. And when the best deck in the format is, like, Mono Blue Reanimator still... And they're just going to force a will your one ring. Draw two. Preordain one ring. So we could... I think we're going to make some mana. We, I don't he's, know if he's... He's going red. If he's going red, he's going to try to win. I think we're going for it. Okay, we are going to play the game. Romeo a go-go, -go, folks. We're trying to go for it. What you got, Paul? Are we, are we F6ing here? Use the red, untap my lotus field. We can't fully F6 because we, we have the counter spell for the Thoracle trigger. But if Hobbs... F6 still Thoracle? <laughs> yeah. It won't matter, though. Hobbs isn't going to put him in, in a, himself in a position where he runs out of mana. Yeah. So, like, even if Paul counters it... He can just bounce it back to his hand or something. No, I think into the Flood Mock can target... Any is it, make sure it's not just opponents because then got that dreams grip doing it so it's only it's only things your opponents control so you can't tap that you can't return it back to your hand with uh into the flood maw so you can't oh. return your own creature move so. opstar do this with a judge column get him good <laughs> wish. <laughs> Wish is good, says Paul. Can't imagine he is just so he's got the he's got one Thoracle in the. No, there's oh, a he 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 could Orem's chant too, so that's probably the plan here. Keep going, wish for or uh, flat or uh, escape. 
wish, get an orange chant, chant you. The problem, the only problem with orange chant is you have to make white with the Lotus Field, and that's like not gonna do anything else probably, unless you're paying it for a well, generic cost. I guess you can pay for the wish cost too. Oh my gosh, we're gonna exile. Okay, we're just gonna exile the wish. Untap it. Tap it. Twi or gonna hidden string. Strings. So he's gonna tap, untap the one ring and the land. So when, once you have Tome Scour, I don't know if we talked about this game one. We probably did. But once you have Tome Scour, so, you're, you're always netting two cards in the graveyard. Oh, and there's another wish. So, I mean, he's probably, he's probably on three or four wishes. Like, yeah. maybe two or three. Oh, my God. Here's another. I think the only four ofs in this deck are the lands. Shout out to Magic Arena for bringing in a friggin' Lotus combo to oh, yeah. Arena finally. We're going to get our it's, hidden strings about time. You know what's not on Arena? Bring the light for new delight decks. <laughs> Good. Like, there is no. Good. <laughs> I don't think there's. They didn't do Battle for Zendikar. Yeah. Which is kind of wild because that set has a lot of really important cards like Reflector Mage. Uh, Gideon. Gideon yeah. Yeah, some decks, uh, the Green White Company decks, just try to pick up Gideon because it's hard for Blue White to deal with. Not that I think there's actually any decks that's hard for Blue White to deal with, but. You know, the real, the real skill that I think that Hobbs could improve on is, you know, bringing a coloring book for his opponent. <laughs> How rude. <laughs> All right. Imagine Underworld Breach, and I'm going to play the Wondering in my graveyard from Underworld Breach to draw a card. I wonder if he's going to remember that uh, this consign could really mess him up. We'll see, though. I want to play a two mana card that nets yeah, me six see, mana. Once Hobbs just starts ta untapping lands, that's whenever you're. He's shortcutting here. He tapped both lands. He's netting five mana total off of the. Because you have to pay one for the. Yeah. Yep. Wish, breach, strings, strings. Map. Expedition map. Yep. One, two, three. Consign to memory. Yep, we're down to one deck. There are two cards in the deck. One card ish. Pretty low. Yeah, the. Tom Scour myself. There's the last card. We're going to untap our lands. Yep. Very good. Yeah, like I said. We're going to make three red. Three red. Wish, and then we can Orms chant. We got First got to go okay, down not, and up. He's not making white mana, though, so that, that does make me a little anxious here for him. Paul's just like, yeah, yes, oh, yes. baby, I'm ready to cook. <laughs> keep, keep playing your game. I have a plan. All right. So I think we're just making mana for yeah, just something. All right, Hobes, what are you gonna do here? Just we're gonna make some more mana. Yeah, he's got a basically infinite blue mana, but. There's the wish. There's the wish. Here's the th four. Cool. He might have Sink in a Stupor in hand. There oh, he, he does have Sink in a Stupor in okay. hand. So, okay, so. And here's Sink. Oh, do we have Sink? Yeah, we have a Stink. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, it just show it and it doesn't game's over. It doesn't matter. Right? Yeah, so we just. You can also Sink back Paul's card because Paul doesn't have any man open. Yep. Yep, and that's going to be it. That so Hobbs it. and wow, two quick games. Going to take it here. Holy smokes. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, that concludes the broadcast. Thank you all so much for watching on Twitch. We appreciate you. Shout out to Deathrite Spellsky and Chip Hunt for sticking with us basically the whole stream. 
Um, if you're watching on YouTube, though, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell icon, set it to all, and of course, hit up Impact Gaming Center. Dot GG for all your Magic the Gathering, TCG, and other gaming needs. Any uh, parting words of wisdom? Check out the website. Check out the shop. If you haven't been here before, uh, RCQ season for Modern is pretty much over, but uh, keep your eye out for Standard. Oh, I, yeah. This Standard looks oh, sick. So yeah. keep your eyes out. Or no, is it Modern again next? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you all so much. For Jake, I'm Alex. We appreciate you. And until next time, catch you all on the flippy flop. See ya. Adios.